Well, we are back before, uh, what, what did I say I was going to be back before last time? Pretty sure it was my driver's test, or my learner's test. But yeah, it is, um, not been that long, actually. Maybe a week, actually. Well, it's the fifth, so, yeah, a, a, a school week, a work week. What's, the, what's it called? Working week. I, I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> Things, things have changed, things have changed around here, but yeah, today I am back to mine some more obsidian, and my neighbours have just started mowing their lawn, so that's absolutely fantastic, but yeah, I want to show you, show you guys around before I begin uh, talking, uh, as you can see, uh, nothing much up here, um, I've installed my new elevator, and I'm, I'm still so proud of it. I'm so proud of how this entire thing works. It's like a hundred percent reliability, if if you're good at it. That is because, well, as you can see, the arrows uh, are below you, and like basically you use a flint and steel to control it. And if you press up, it goes up. If you press down, it goes down. But they're right next to each other, and they're like under you. So like the perspective is a bit close so you can easily like accidentally press one thing and it goes one way and then i don't want that to happen when i have the full thing installed because otherwise if you accidentally press down you're gonna have to go all the way down to the very bottom before you can come back up and that's just gonna be a bit rubbish but yeah i'm still so proud of it the only problem is if you stand like a bit to the edge you'll just fall into into the bottom bit and when you fall into the bottom bit you can't get out unless you like end the pro or something and you can see, uh, I've also got a little callback system. My voice sound feels really sore today for some reason. I haven't even talked. But yeah, uh, callback system at the bottom right here. And you'll just wait for it to come back down. And once it's on the floor above you, you can just press it on the arrow anyway. Because the arrow is on your floor, but it controls the one uh, above your floor. So yeah. And also, I've got my basement, which I've changed. Well, not changed, but... <laughs> added to quite a bit my little slave army in my uh, little cobblestone here as you can see i expanded quite a bit and i'm i'm gonna you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna go to level 100 right now because well yeah i've never been to level 100 in survival before in legit survival it's not it's never happened surprisingly enough but now with trading i can literally get so much levels like out of nowhere oh god i'm I'm so bad. And as you can look at this, orphan in a uh, tribute to Technoblade's cleric, but uh or is it just clerk? I, I don't know. <laughs> look at it. It's down to two rotten flesh. It was one rotten flesh before I had to cure him like three times. It was there was really no point. I just thought it was a novelty. But yeah, uh let's get let's go. Let's get to level hundred for no good reason. <laughs> well we're gonna die and lose it all anyway, it's fine. Right, uh I'll I'll just I guess I can't there's not really much to talk about here there we go uh is that no not level 100 yet after that I'm gonna try to heal my pickaxe oh, oh god no I threw it why did it throw it's supposed to oh because I'm lagging it's so bad right yeah uh I've got so many farmers all able to uh get uh, actually let's not hold that out oh there we go level 100 fantastic let's heal our pick now <laughs> Got uh, four farmers, all one pumpkin, one melon each, and yeah, it's just great because you literally don't have to do anything, and you just AFK in the... Actually, I need to go over there, don't I? At, to the farm, to the AFK area, and show you guys what I've done with uh, that place, but I'll, I'll get to talking very soon, I promise. Just first of all, I want to show you guys around, okay, and uh, let me just collect this all up. And yeah, that's basically all I can uh, trade for. The librarians, they've got like, they got paper for emeralds, but paper's pretty expensive still. And that's not very, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at me, I'm rich. Okay, but yeah. Um, I've been trading for a while now, so that's not very surprising. Uh, let's put all this back. Put this here. Oh wait, oh, I put, normally put the enchantment bottles up. But now it's not going to be even. It sucks. I think I might just use this up now. I don't even care. Right, um, oh yeah, let's go to craft all this into blocks for no good reason. Do I have crafting table in here? Of course I do. Hello? Why am I lagging in my own world? I don't understand this, like, I'm actually not even, like, it's like network, and it's not like frames or anything, it's like the connection to this world, I don't know. 
<laughs> right, let's just head to uh, the AFK area with my 100 levels now. Fantastic. I don't really know what the point of that was. <laughs> oh, God. My, oh, yeah. No, sometimes that happens. I, I don't even know. It's just dumb. The game's dumb. All right. But yeah, the elevator was so hard. Actually, before I go, let me just show you. Actually, well, I'm going to come back, aren't I? Well, no, maybe I'll just go straight to the end because I got everything. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Right, but yeah, no. Um, look at this. It's so, so simple. Like, my other design, you had literal wheels, like wheels of redstone on this side and just looked terrible. And look, the recall is literally just like a pillar of observers and it looks, it looks like it's supposed to be there. It looks like mechanical as it should. Not mechanical as, like, really messy and terrible. But yeah, uh, it's literally just this. It's fantastic. I love it. But yeah, uh, let's head to the farming area. Anything else around here ch changed? Oh yeah, I got rid of the front stuff. Rip. Yeah, it's just my house. I remember it used to be... Oh yeah, oh, and I moved my uh, jukebox down here, which is uh, the lobby music, I guess. Not the elevator music anymore. And it's controlled by this daylight sensor. Quite nice, quite sleek, but yeah. Out here, there's like nothing left except for this bit of water, reminiscent of when I had chests out here. And the potato farm's gone, and I'll show you where it's gone now. Uh, you know what, on the way, I think I might as well just begin. Yeah, I finished Residual Darkness just yesterday, and uh, I'm not completely depressed, which is sort of good, but also... I kind of want it to be. <laughs> Not want it to be, but like, I don't know, I just, because I felt it last year, I want to feel it again. And I, well, I felt it a bit, so it's all right. So yeah. Also, I replaced all the cobblestone and nether with uh, the red stained glass. Oh yeah, I should go to the hub as well, because I changed the hub a bit. Not changed, but improved. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this place is completely nice and dunned up now. Uh, this place... This, this is the desert where I collect all my sand and stuff, but I just made it my AFK place. And yeah, uh, once I get through, I'll show you around. But yeah, no. Um, I finished it and... Actually, no. Before I before I go into it, I'll just yeah talk about what's over here. Yeah, as you can see, I got a 4x4 four four potato farm, which is like four like pieces of farmland, I guess. Like four bits of water. Uh, by four bits of water. So yeah, and over here is my giant pumpkin and melon tower which isn't actually as efficient as i thought I, I don't even know if like the top bits because they're not rendered in do they even like work because like this is 64 up and there's like four uh on each so it's like uh four stacks going at the same time and uh, it, it's only like this because i i keep like over afking overnight and also i hate this for some reason the top chest always fill up as well as the bottom chest like i don't know why but like the hopper's just not working pretty sure it's stupid chunk stuff because apparently that's a problem on bedrock but yeah over here is the pumpkin and i got some more stuff around which is the nether wart and also sugarcane over there and uh got nothing automated for this just because sugarcane's easy enough to collect anyway so yeah um this is it yeah uh Let's get back to what I was saying, and I'll go to the spawn and show you guys what's going on. Is that, like, every single chunk? Because that would be really cool if it was, like, every chunk was a bit of farmland. Like, I, I like, built it, like, uh, right on the chunks. That would be kind of cool. Because I saw it just loading in like that. I don't know if I was just random. I don't know. But, yeah, no. I finished that, and it was, <laughs> it was really weird because I was literally, as I was doing it, I was literally forcing myself to make memories. Like, I was on Minecraft, because I was on this world the whole time listening to it, because I was where I was last time. And the whole time, I was, like, trying so hard to, like, be doing something, to be to be building something, and to just be having fun, I guess. And I have, I have to say, the last past week has just been the most fun and relaxed week I've ever, oh wait, this isn't, this isn't the hub, the fun, the most fun and relaxed week I've ever had, like, in a long time, I've just not got any worries, just playing Minecraft, not really doing stuff, <laughs> just being, wasting my time away, I guess, but it's been really fun, honestly, I, I really needed a sort of break, <laughs> quote-unquote, yeah, as you can see, I, uh, Oh, what's going on here? I basically expanded the little uh, stuff at the, uh, yeah, at the nether portal. I, got, I made it go down as well now. And, uh, yeah, also I made this entire place 
Uh, as you know, well, as I said, I turned all the cobblestone into red stained glass because it's a nice aesthetic, I guess. And yeah, it all goes all the way down and it's quite nice. So uh, I'm planning to also put like chains, not chains, but like iron bars, like connecting the nether portal to the walls. Like it's uh, suspended or something. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that. Maybe if I can be bothered, but I don't know if I can. Uh, oh, that's, I was going to uh, mend this crossbow with another one just to make it good, but useless. Let's go to the end and start mining stuff. But yeah, um, <clears throat> the whole time, basically, I was just building stuff. And I think, I, I don't know if it's ruined it, like that I was trying to make memories so hard. So when I remember it, like when I do feel nostalgic about it, I remember making the memories, not actually just playing around and having fun. <laughs> But I, I don't know, I think, I, like, right now, I feel like it was a good time. Yeah, I can look back on it and feel good. So, uh, mission success, I guess. But yeah, no, uh, as I was doing that, I wasn't just, like, putting the story on in the background. Um, as background sound, it was actually, I was actually quite enjoying it. It was a nice, uh, nice, uh, yeah, story. Because, uh, well, like, I forgot a lot about it. I sort of knew, like the main plot points, but I forgot a lot of, like, the, um, the chronological order of what happens and stuff, and, and when it happened, and, yeah, it's just, it, it was, it was really fun to look back on it, but, like, differently, because the last time I listened to it, which is last year, um, I, I really, I was really, like, I guess, nitpicky about it and critical and like oh this isn't right that isn't right oh this makes no sense i was reading it as if it was a spyro fanfic but this time i read it as if it was a new york times bestseller and i have to say i have to say while tears of an oracle was good this story this story was real like it hit home quote unquote like not as in like I, I, I'm a purple dragon saving the world and, and feeling bad and stuff, but as in, like, it, it, like, you look at stuff, you look at characters, you look at characters' decisions and think, oh, that's stupid, that's such a bad choice, and, but you then, you look at it again, and you're like, you know, if I was that character, that is literally what I'd do, and everything just fit so well, and, like, all the feelings were, like, they were really, like, sort of, I guess, not not even cliche, just, like, really real. Just, like, I don't know, like, professional feelings, I guess, if you can call it that. But, yeah, everything just felt really, like, proper. And the plot, the plot was actually, like, I, when I was listening to it, well, yeah, basically, I, I read it as an audiobook, so I didn't actually read. I just have in the back. Well, no, <laughs> no, uh, I don't want to, uh, I'm still keeping up my nose swear, uh, my no swear streak, but no short, I guess, you yeah, know, because <laughs> I was listening in it with the background, listening to it in the background playing Minecraft, so yeah, um, yeah, as I listened to it, I literally couldn't tell that it was written like a fanfic, like, it felt like it was, like, just there, it felt like the universe had made it, and it was just meant to be, like, it didn't feel wrong at all, it just felt like it was a, th it was an actual thing, like, a mainstream sort of thing, and, like, props to Miss River Sticks for writing, writing it so well, but also just feeling not really, feeling unsure about it, I guess, which really, like, begs the question of how well can she write, well, the thing is, I don't think, like, she wrote it badly, I just think she, yeah, didn't really have, uh, the patience to write it anymore, and I will admit, like, from, from the epilogue, which is basically the rest of the story, which actually, like, this time when I read it, it was really good, because it, it really wrapped everything up really nicely, and everything was just, like, everything fell into place. It felt like, it honestly felt like there didn't need to be, like, the story didn't need to be finished. There just need to be, like, the epilogue really just, is it even called the ep I don't even care. It, it, it really made every, it really made it anyway, so it was good, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, reading the epilogue, it really did seem like she bit off a lot more than she could chew, because there was, like, gonna be a bunch more chapters, and a bunch more, like, interactions and monologues and stuff, and, like, if I was to write it, I'd honestly hate my life. 
<laughs> and there was a lot of things because I wrote a bit as well. Um, there was a lot of things that, like, I read and well, I listened to, and I thought, oh my god, it must have been the hardest thing to write that because like, it was fine. Like you wouldn't notice it otherwise, but because I'm a bit of a writer myself, I felt like. Oh god, yeah, she definitely had to swallow hard to keep that sentence in the book. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it was just, uh, like, some things are just, like, it stands out as, like, I don't know, like, it, it like, it, there's nothing that stands out, oh, yeah, I take that back, there's nothing that really stands out, like, wrong, but there's things that feel like, oh, uh, that's not really exactly, yeah, uh, the best way it could have been done, I guess, I don't know, I don't really know, but... Yeah, overall, the story, the story was absolutely fantastic, you, li like, uh, there was, uh, the, pl yeah, the plot points, they're all just nice, they're all good, and everyone was just behaving as they should, and nothing went wrong, well, no, <laughs> there was conflict, but nothing, nothing sort of felt too out of place, and it all, it, it was all a really nice big world that she's made herself, but yeah, um, I was, yeah, in the end, honestly, I didn't even feel that bad at the death anymore because the character was starting to piss me off a bit anyway. <laughs> I was, I don't know, it just didn't really mean that much to me anymore since he wasn't exactly being, like, the most likable character in the end and then it was just, yeah, yeah I don't know. that. I think that part would have been a lot, a lot more, a lot better if it was finished, but, yeah, it wasn't exactly done like that but it was fine it was, it was whatever it, the whole thing the whole story was and I, I'll, I'll admit some parts some parts did have me tear up a bit and it, it really it really does hit you it hits you if you take it seriously and not as a Spyro fan fiction but yeah it's just so so professional so professionally written and it's a shame it's done but uh yeah <laughs> I still yeah I still feel a bit like oh that's that's over now. Now what? Oh, I'm so, I feel so lonely. <laughs> There's nothing to look forward to anymore. I guess, because well, like I don't know, because other people they've motivation from other people to do their stuff, and I'm just I come on every day and just like yeah I have to self motivate and stuff because there's just nothing. There's just no one else there. I guess. Well, I mean there's Ashton and stuff. And them, but I don't, I don't know, I just haven't really been that, yeah, well, I've, yeah, I bring it upon myself, but, like, still, it's kind of lonely, but, uh, I don't really, I don't even really care anymore, it's just, I do what I do, and get by, it's, it's whatever, and then one day, it will be, it will come together, and it'll be fine, but, yeah, every single day, I just, uh, I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be listening to anymore, but, yeah, no, it's actually... The timing's actually really, like, well, not the timing, but just, like, I guess how it happened really was good. <laughs> but, yeah, right after I finished, um, right after I finished the book, I, I, f I found, uh, what's it, what's, the, what's it called, Ophelia, the song, and, like, that literally, like, pretty much sums up how, how, uh, like, it, it really did add to the sad feeling, I guess, and, like, I, I see people talking about it, like, oh, it, it's got a really weird feeling that they can't explain, like, happy and sad and stuff. It, it is what the song is, basically, feeling, uh, feeling sad, but, like, nostalgic for a time or someone in the past. And, yeah, no, that's basically the, <clears throat> the feeling. And I, I can relate that to, <laughs> to the book, I guess. And, yeah, it just feels, yeah. It feels like it should have been. It feels like that's going to be a staple of this year now. <laughs> because I listened to that song. But yeah, no. Uh, last time I did... I, I remember what I forgot. Well, ages ago. But yeah. Eurobeat. I listened to Eurobeat the whole time whilst listening to the story as well. Which is just fantastic. It, it added to it a bit. But I didn't really feel like it was that necessary. But whatever. But yeah, no. Um, That song's really inspired me to draw something else now. But... Like, that's, uh, yeah, oh, I was talking about inspiration. Yeah, no, I don't want to draw that until I'm good, because I, I've already ruined a few of my, uh, <laughs> ideas by drawing it when I was, when I'm really bad at drawing, and then 
now the idea is like bad but i could always redraw it in the future you know but this one i, I really want to draw when i'm actually like good at drawing because i don't want to ruin the idea but yeah speaking of inspiration like now after reading that I, i'm really i really want to go and write my own stuff now but i know it's not gonna last it's just gonna yeah but it's still i, I still want to just write write some stuff up and just have fun with it i guess yeah, it is sad, though, that everything, that's over now, because, well, now I have to return to drawing and stuff, but this is good, because I'm actually kind of, like, I'm refreshed, I feel like, oh, it's about time, you know, but also, like, I was also kind of getting bored of it a bit, like, at the end, like, I was just like, oh, okay, well, right, let's just go finish this off then, but yeah, no, uh, it was fine, it's whatever, um, what's going on here, actually, what am I doing, um, I need to figure out this pattern so I can make it a nice, a nice, uh, yeah, pattern. Doesn't matter, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, uh, an important thing <laughs> that I haven't mentioned yet is that I'm home alone. I, uh, and not for long, not for as long as, like, in the past, but my mom, she went out, she's going out for three days since yesterday. Yesterday was her first day, today is her second day, and I plan to make this today. I was gonna, if I wasn't planning to make this talk today, I would have made it yesterday, but, uh, yeah, I was, god, yesterday I was feeling so lonely after finishing it, after finishing the story, and it was just, feel bad, sort of, but also feel good, because I felt, I felt the feeling, it was a nice feeling, and, uh, my friend was playing Minecraft, so I joined him, and we had, we played around a bit, and that was fun, but yeah, no, um, she's gone out for, like, a camping trip, I guess, <laughs> um, quote-unquote, she's just gone, like, to, to a place to, like, stay for a bit, and, yeah, tomorrow she comes back, and then day after, I go to, I go to get my license tested, <laughs> I go to get my learner's license, um, learner's, or is it learner's permit, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but yeah, no, um, <laughs> I'm pretty much 100%ing the tests now, and it's sort of just like, I can't really be bothered anymore, but, you know, the day before I go, I'll do a bunch, just, just to, because I know there's some questions I don't, I just don't know, but most of it I can, I, I just got it memorized, so it's fine. Yeah, no, um, that's not really important right now, though. What is important is, I don't know, what is important? That's really all I wanted to talk about, the, uh, <laughs> finishing the story and how it's got me feeling, but yeah, no, um, I'm going to be starting to draw again. Today, actually, well, I just then I sketched up the uh, idea for uh, for the uh, Ophelia drawing. Um, the feeling, the feeling's just, I don't know, the, st the, the sort of drawing's not really going to convey the song, but if you listen to the song and look at the drawing, the feeling will be conveyed. It's basically just like, uh, like, uh, I, I don't know, it, it, you can't explain the drawing because it's just, well, there's a path, there's a road, and there's a fence, and then past the fence, there's, there's a maple forest, and Chillis is walking into the maple forest. Well, younger, younger Chillis, because, you know, we're, 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 we're reminiscing about the past, and, you know, younger Chillis is walking into the forest, and Amp's just, Amp's, like, got his paws on the fence, looking, looking at him, and it's gonna be quite dim and dark, and I feel like it conveys, the, conveys it pretty well. But yeah, no, um, oh yeah, that was right, <laughs> the Cuzzy Nort channel has been made a day late, I made it on the 2nd of January, I, w I wasn't gonna, I, I was gonna just like, say screw it and just make it when I actually like, have something to post on there, but I think it's just like a, a statement to how unorganised I am that I was planning to make it on the 1st of January, but I accidentally forgot, and I just made it on the 2nd of January, <laughs> but it's, it's fine, it's funny, yeah, um, what the, what's going on here, oh, right, I'm dumb, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be mm, putting some sort of animation, in the, actually, this is just wrong, why am I doing this, yeah, um, I'm gonna be putting animations on there once I, I I'll probably just, like, I don't know, I don't know if I should make it, like, I should start it professionally, or if I should just treat it as a sort of, oh wait, this entire thing is just, oh dear, okay, uh, 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll 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 happily do this because I want to keep the <laughs> I want to keep this straight. Why is it so dark? My screen. I hate Apple for this. It literally. Hold on. Actually, I could check if I'm recording. I I am. I hate Apple for just like turning the screen dark whenever you whenever you're like whenever you put your hand over the light sensor because it's like it's not it doesn't help whatsoever there should be like multiple ones just so one that you don't like put your hand over or something i don't know but yeah it's kind of annoying but that's fine but yeah no i don't know if i should like begin with like yeah like something like like uh like something planned like begin putting planned stuff on there or if I should just start putting stuff on there and just just for fun I feel like I should just not treat it so uh, treat it so uh special treat it so perfect and just make it like a fun thing so that challenge hopefully that works <laughs> yeah no but now that I've finished uh Chilis's ref uh well I finished that long ago but yeah I should really start like drawing sketches of him and stuff in like different poses and different stuff and it'll hopefully be nice it'll hopefully work out and i can do do well i can do well before uh, i start animating we really need to practice that up and then and then i'll yeah animate some stuff up it'll be it'll be nice it'll be good but yeah um still don't have a good animating software all i have is procreate and procreate it's good for animating sketches but like if you want to go and animate a proper like scene with colors and everything it's just not gonna work because everything's just glitchy and i get that it's new i get it's new but like it's still just buggy and kind of rubbish it's not very helpful but yeah i like, honestly i think i'd have better luck just drawing uh frame by frame on sketchbook and putting it into my editor to i'm sure i've said this before just to string it all together but it's just a bit more difficult because you don't see you can't quickly switch between frames but i think i'll just i, I think i need to come up with a animating style and just do do it with that because then like you could literally have like all the all the colors and lines and everything and all the features on one single layer and that would be very helpful that'd be nice but yeah um that's that's honestly well what else have we got? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, as being home alone, I have been, uh... I haven't been doing a lot, actually. Yesterday, I went out for the first time in a long time. Just in the morning to avoid people a bit and just went out for a ride. It was... wasn't really... Oh, it wasn't really that great. But it's, uh... It's good to get out, I guess. But... Yeah, no. Uh... Pff taking care of that i don't really even have to take care of the house that much because it's only three days the house isn't gonna burn down it's, i'm not gonna like <laughs> uh what's it fail to pay my rent in like a month or something because it's just three days when she comes back like nothing's gonna go wrong but yeah no um I made myself a nice burrito oh yeah no <laughs> i woke up at at one today and that was interesting I, I went to sleep at, like, 3 last night, and I woke up at 1. Normally, I normally work, wake up at, like, 11 or something if I sleep at 3. I don't know how that happened, but, yeah. I dreamt of some weird things last night. I was, like... What was I? I was on, like, an airship. I was on an airship, and it was, like, weird stuff. It was, like, with my class, and then and we... It was, like, camp or something. I, I don't know. And then after we, after we, like, got off or something... Me and my friend John, we went to a milk bar to get some corn. <laughs> we were gonna get like a hot dog or something, but it was too expensive, and we only had two dollars each, <laughs> so we just got corn. But it was weird because like, well, he got corn first, and then I was like, oh, oh, I wonder, I, I, I wonder if I should get corn or not, and then, and then I, <laughs> I, when I decided, people have already, people already came in, like a bunch of Eshes came in, and they were buying random stuff, and then. And then I was like, and they kept pushing in front of the, pushing in front of me, and then and then I looked and the corn was gone, but uh, but I was still lining up, and then I suddenly had a piece of corn in my hand, and I was like, yeah, what? Why do I even have to line up anymore? So I just left, and the corn just kept getting longer and longer. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> I just had a really long cob of corn, and it was great. <laughs> that was really it. That's my 
that's that's my uh my corn dream fantastic you know i don't know what, what happened to trigger that but yeah good sleep last night um oh, i'm still really skeptical of when i'm whenever i'm home alone like honestly if i if i just put on like some scary music i'd honestly piss myself i should i should do that one night just put on like creepy music and just sit in my room like pissing myself it's so sketchy even though i know my my area is completely safe and there's literally like nothing happens around here but still like you hear noises it, there's rats in my walls and it's just not fun <laughs> i mean I, f- I should feel safe with the with the company of my dog but still things can happen things random things i don't know it's just sketchy yeah um that's, that's, that's what it is, and also, I just love scaring myself, like, whenever I'm, whenever I'm running around the house and looking around, I just love thinking, like, oh, someone's right there, they're looking at me, oh, someone's behind this door, I'm gonna get murdered, I don't know why, it's just, it's a, it's a bad time, bad time for all, but yeah, no, um, that's really that. What did I want to say? Um, I, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> let's 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 uh, uh put our focus back on the exiling. <laughs> don't know why. I've pretty much gotten over it now. But like, it's the thing. It's the same thing as just feeling bad, because like I I still feel bad when I think about it. But like the same way, the same thing goes for the two dollar coins. I still feel really angry when I think about my lost two dollar coins that is just completely stupid it's an accident that literally would never happen in a million goddamn universes i don't know it's just it was such a dumb thing and it's just it pisses me off whenever i think about it and same thing goes for getting exiled i feel sad every time i think about it because it's just it could have not happened and i handled it so poorly and everything was just, yeah, it wasn't good, but it, it, it's, it, I don't think about it, like, like I thought about it right after it happened anymore, so that's good, but yeah, no, it, obviously it's in the past, but I just, every time I think about it, I just still feel, feel it, I, I feel the day I felt, I felt, I felt the way I felt on the night, or was it the day, I don't know, but yeah, uh, not very fun, but also, whatever, things happen. And every time I just tell myself, you know what, lesson learned, you know, if you never did that, then you wouldn't have learned to shut the frick up, because you're dumb, you can't communicate, you can't do things right, just (laughs) shut your mouse, mouse, shut your mouse, okay, but yeah, no, not a fun time, but also a fun time, yes, the past few days have been so fun, I loved it. Um, there wasn't really anything other than, uh, playing Minecraft, though, that's made this holiday. Um, it's really just been me playing Minecraft, and that was really it. <laughs> and listening to the fan fiction. Hmm, what else has happened? I'm looking on my table right now. Oh, yeah, dentist. Oh, God, I've just been notified, like, a few days ago, just two days ago or so, that, well, I, th- I finally know what wisdom teeth are, and I finally know that like, what, everyone needs to, like, get, get out removed, and I, I thought I was done with, with, uh, getting my teeth pulled out, but I just, uh, I'd hate, I hate it, I hate it, but, you know, I didn't go to see my wisdom teeth, I went to see my, uh, to get my teeth fixed, because they're terrible, and they're wonky, and they're just, titten, like, they're not causing me any harm, at least not, I don't think so, like, it, it might be the reason I keep getting mouth ulcers, because I keep, like, biting myself, I don't know if that's my teeth, or I'm just stupid, but yeah, um, I want to get it fixed nonetheless, I mean, it's so expensive, though, it, that I wouldn't mind if it was still like that, but I, I think if I could, if there was a chance, I would take it, you know, but I, I, like, I don't care about my looks anyway, I just want to fix it for, I guess, normality, (laughs) fix my, uh, fix my, not my abnormal teeth, but, yeah, um, it's just, yeah, the dentist says that it's gonna be kinda hard, because my teeth are screwed for whatever reason, I don't even know why, because I'm just, I'm just unlucky, I guess, I guess I've been lucky that I don't, 
oh, I don't have a lot of, like, allergies and stuff, but I just have bad teeth, but it's just, you know, uh, it's just whatever, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, hopefully get fixed, apparently it's gonna take, like, a year and a bit, and I can't snack on anything, it's gonna be terrible, absolutely terrible, but yeah, whatever, it's gonna, it's gonna be what it is, so, I don't know, it's just that if I ever, it's like, show my face, and my teeth are, like, wonky as hell, I don't really think that's a good impression, I guess, I just don't, yeah, no, but, yeah, basically, I saw my wisdom teeth on x-ray, and, they're like, coming out sideways, I don't even know why they're there, and, like, apparently everyone needs to get them removed, I don't know, it's not, not fun, not fun to think about, <laughs> I don't like, I don't like teeth, I don't like getting teeth pulled out, because of the needle, I mean, uh, I guess if it's necessary, it's better than nothing, but having a needle chucked in your mouth is just a lot worse than, than just on your skin, because your mouth is so sensitive, isn't it, you just feel everything, and it's not fun, but, and also it's like, it's like weird gum, not like fatty tissue or something, I don't know, but yeah, um, that's really it with the dentist stuff, <laughs> um, have we anything to talk about? Because I can whip up my, uh, my segments again. I haven't done that in a while because I've just have, I just had things to talk about, but this time I didn't really think about. I thought I had some, oh yeah, no, I, I still have a point. My voice, my voice is absolutely terrible. Like, I go to my previous videos and I listen to them and it's just like so cringe, not cringe, but just like kind of disgusting, honestly. Like the people, I don't, I don't like people with nasally voice, like, if they talk like this, like, with, like, their nose blocked or something, I, I don't know, just, like, I feel like someone who talks like this, just, I, I, I like, I like that a lot more, I like it if their voice is, like, a bit more open and not nasally, uh, it's just, I, I don't know if it's, like, personal preference, but, like, maybe it's just a bad experience I had with a nasally voiced person, but it, it was just, uh, I don't really like uh, that sound, I don't like, uh, and, like, uh, uh, I get that there's, I get there's people, I get there's, like, um, people with voices you can't stand, but I don't, like, care that much as long as they sort of provide for you what, like, if, if they're what they provide is, like, above their voice, then, like, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> It sounds like I'm trying to use people, aren't I? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, I really don't care about someone's voice unless they they really, like, fit their voice or something. I don't know. It, it's, it's just, I don't like nasally voices. And my, in the past, I always talk really, like, really sort of secluded or something. Not secluded, but just, like, to myself and, like, I don't know. Maybe I still talk like that. I just feel like I should, I'm a lot more enthusiastic about these now, these days, back then I always talk just, like, really depressed, and, and I talk like this, and it's, it's not a very nice, uh, not a very nice sort of, yeah, sort of thing, not a very nice, uh, sound, and then, and my parents were home, so I can't even talk really loud, but now, I don't really care, I just talk about whatever, and it all, fa it all fares out, and it's all good, yeah, but no, back then it wasn't even that great, but yeah, I, I was, my point about the voices is that, like, I see people going on, going on, uh, people's channels and telling them their voice sucks, and, like, like, I get that, like, I feel that as well with some people, but it's, it doesn't, it shouldn't really matter, because it's not, like, the main sort of, I guess, uh, it's always a big part of the, I guess, if you're a commentary, you definitely gotta, Having, like, having a nice voice is a perk, but having a bad voice isn't, like, a disability, I guess. Uh, but uh, it's, like, because, like, some people, like, I can stand their voice, but other people can't. I guess it's just taste. <laughs> so I guess people with nasally voices, other people would not really care anyway, so. Yeah, I guess it is just me, but, yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, let me grab a drink, actually. I've been talking for a while now. I don't even know how long. I just wish I had more friends I could talk to, because, like, oh, all my friends, they all just, oh, I can't believe my friends, they've been playing Valorant for, like, how long? For, like, 
half a year now. I don't even know. Like, I don't get how they're doing this. Like, Valorant doesn't even look like that great of a game. It's not, like, top of the charts or, like, what... It's it's literally just another shooter. Maybe it's just, like, really simple to handle in that case. Fair. But, like, I don't know what they're doing. They're just playing Valorant all day, all night, and nothing else. And it's kind of... Well, not, not all of them, but most of them just play Valorant with each other. And I, I can't... I normally... I just don't play a lot of PC games. But if they were playing, like, CS, I might join them or something. It's just... I'm not really bothered with PC games anyway, but yeah, no, um, my, yeah, my friends, they, they have no interest in this, this sort of stuff I do, so I don't really, I can't blame them, but I, I really like some people that, like, I can talk to in real life and sort of just, yeah, chill with and just, you know, I don't know, like Ashton, sort of that guy. But recently, I've just gotten a bit wary of him because he, uh, I don't want to talk bad about him because he's a really good guy, but, like, he's just, uh, it's just, sometimes he can be a bit much. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like, oh, the Ashton personality is a bit, it's, it gets a bit, I get a bit sick of it sometimes. And, I mean, that's nothing on him, it's just me because I don't really... I don't know, I just want, I just want to, like, I don't know, I don't know, what can I get from someone else that I can't get from him, is the thing, like, I, I, it doesn't really matter, does it, like, if I wanted to, I could just tell him, hey, can we talk about this, and talk like this, and then he, I don't know, I don't think he would mind, but, I don't know, I just haven't really been wanting to socialize online <laughs> for the past few days, yeah, I know, it's just a, just a thing, I guess, it's whatever. What 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 do I do though? Because like I I t I don't talk and then I feel bad about not being able to socialize. It's just socializing is like a drug. It's bad for you, but it's so addicting once you do it. Is it bad for you though? <laughs> I really don't like it because it always ends terribly for me. But that's just that's a bit of a me thing, you know. Oh, back at it again with the me thing. But yeah, no. Um. Talking like this is literally, it, it makes me feel so much better, just, it makes me think I have someone to talk to when, uh, obviously it's just me, but, you know, um, yeah, can, can I talk about one of my segments, because, like, not, not doing a segment, can I, can I talk about one of my segments, I created this segment right after the Discord drama, <laughs> the discord drama and i don't know i just felt like i needed a sort of um a sort of yeah no a sort of a way to practice my practice my speech you know practice my socializing skills so basically what it is and i failed to failed to uh bring this up last time i talked about it but i just didn't <laughs> bring it up like say what it actually was but basically what it was is it's called wrong number and what you do you just dial a random number and you talk to them you just have a chat it's simple as that but because i'm really social socially anxious i just if they don't pick up or they just hang up then i just give up <laughs> that'll be the segment it'd be lucky if they don't pick up basically but yeah no um and that's like like i really hope I don't get that, but also, I, I, I don't know, what's the worst that can happen, you know, because it's just phone calls, I'm, a, I'm on an unknown number, I, I mean, I got, un, un, I got, I'm hiding my caller ID, so it doesn't really matter to me, but just, like, I mean, could, could they, could they, like, trace back the, like, a hacker, like, could they just trace back to where, what, what phone called them or something and then track me down, <laughs> It's just sketchy in the way that they're strangers, I guess, but just, like, everyone's a stranger, you know, but no one's gonna, you, you're not, you out, outside, you don't just expect someone to come, be, come, be, come up behind you and stab you or something, but, you know, I just think it would be cool to have, like, one-on-one -on -one chats with someone, apparently in Victoria, you don't need to, you don't need to tell them if you're recording or not, I don't feel good about it, though, I don't want to just start recording them and, and they don't even know, <laughs> I want to ask, like, I, on one hand, I want some really in-depth, like, heartfelt conversations. On the other hand, I don't want to, like, 
I don't want to breach their privacy by putting this putting this stuff online and stuff. I think okay, you know what? To for my own sanity, I won't tell them, but I will change their voice when I upload it, and that's gonna be really difficult because I have to, <laughs> I have to edit the whole part, and that's not gonna be any fun. But yeah, I I I really want some just like some feel good conversations. Like, uh, I'm not gonna c- come up with examples because I don't know myself yet, but. Yeah, I just really want I really want some uh stranger stranger kindness up in here. But I'm also terrified. <laughs> I think we'll be able to bond over that. <laughs> Imagine I just call an introvert a, a millennial introvert and then and we bond over our introversy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um that should be good fun whenever I can't get to that because ah, I don't know if I should like commit to it though because it's so just terrifying to me. But it, it's okay. What's the worst that can happen, honestly? And yeah, uh, I guess yeah, that's that's gonna be an in- interesting segment. But um, yeah, and the reason I didn't do it in the past few days is because well, for one, I did it on Christmas, didn't I? Did I do it on Christmas? Yeah, I think I did one on Christmas Eve. I think did I? Oh, no, I did it on Christmas, yeah, I did it on Christmas Eve, but it was Christmas Day, um, and I did one on New Year's, I just didn't think if I called people on that day, they'd want to talk about anything, so, I don't know, I don't want to, uh, to be fair, like, they probably would be able to, like, um, they'd be able to, like, infer that I was recording by the way I'm talking, you know, because I'm, like, talking like a, a game show host, like, Hello and welcome to Wrong Number. You did the show where you tell me all your secrets and I pretend to be your therapist. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I hope it's a mutual thing. Like, oh, I tell them some my some some stuff some stuff of mine, and it's gonna be the same thing every time. But they wouldn't know because it's a different person every time. <laughs> I just tell them like I'm so lonely every single time, and then they just feel bad for me, and then that that's where the call ends. <laughs> it's my personal therapy therapy uh segment, <laughs> but yeah, I hope it's like a mutual thing, and we can talk about stuff that's like bothering them, and I can tell them stuff because like uh, I'd like to think I have good morals, and I can I have good advice, but I don't know, maybe I'm just terrible, but yeah, no, I've been thinking about like morality and virtue for the past few days you know it's so human greed why do we okay do, why do we need greed <laughs> i love how it's just gone gone like this direction this quickly why do we need greed because like we can totally just like want something without wanting everything you know like like, like we do that anyway but, like, oh, greed is, like, such a big thing. Like, when we were born, it's, like, wired into our brains. Like, no matter... Even if you, like, like kill everybody that's, like, greedy and leave the least greediest in the world, in a few generations, it's all going to go back to normal. It's all going to be, like, greed again. Because, like, you just can't stop it. Unless they're, like, really good parenting. And, like, I don't know, parenting, does it come naturally to everyone? I doubt it. I doubt, like, you could be a good parent just by, like, thinking you're a good parent. I don't know. Just by being taught by your parents that to be a good parent, you know? Like, I don't know how well it passes down. I hope it passes down well because, (laughs) well, it's not going to happen, but I don't know. Um, (laughs) I hope it passes down well just in case I have my own children, and they can be like me, because I love me so much, don't I? No, of course not, but no. Yeah, just, like, in this euphoria of people that are just not greedy, will it stay that way for long? Because it's just, it's such a human thing, and it just doesn't even, and, like, I've thought, like, if you are virtuous but you know you are virtuous, does that make you less virtuous? Because there is greed to it, isn't there? Because you know you're, you know you're doing good things. Like, does that make it any less good that you know you're doing good things because you're, like, suddenly aware that you're a good person? You know? Like, I I don't really know. Like, the most virtuous person is someone who's good without thinking about doing good and being good, you know? Like, they just do it because they, they think, oh, you know, that's just how it should work. 
well not how it should work that's just how it works you know like they don't they don't know nothing about oh i should do this but i do this and everyone else does that they just think yeah this is what's what this is what how it happens this is what's uh what the world is they are they are i think the most virtuous people that just know like what's that just know what's right well don't even they just know what they know but it's also right you know because like once you once you start once you start doing things knowing that you're knowing that you're right it's almost like virtue signaling but you're actually doing good things you know and like once you do good things like you know people will look up to you but is there is there a greed like factor to that a greed aspect because like once you know that people look up to you you can just do a bunch of good things and then and then everyone will think you're you're a great person but you know that like you know that's what's gonna happen like because if you if you didn't know that it was gonna like make everyone like you and you did it anyway that would make you virtuous because you you're doing it for nothing but once you know that you're doing it and you're a good person are you doing it for something then I don't I don't even know because like I I think I I think I'm a virtuous person but I'm doing it for something you know like I'm doing it to be recognized that as this good person and I I think I don't know I think that's like once you once you realize that you can't really go back I can't just wipe my memory like oh you know what this is this is the stuff that's supposed to happen and then I just do good things without thinking about it now every time I do something good I'm like oh I'm going to be recognized for this and that's just, ugh, you can't break out of it, you can't think, you can't suddenly think, oh, no, I'm just doing it to be, to be good, because in the back of your mind, you know that, oh, people are going to recognize you for this, and, like, ah, oh, that's the thing, even if you do, even if you are doing good things, does that necessarily mean you're a good person? It, it doesn't, it's, uh, I'm, it's, I'm thinking too hard about this, it's just, honestly, just do good things and don't even care, because, like, if you're doing good things and you don't have a other side to you, then it's good enough. Like, as long as you're not, like, putting on a fake show and you're just being good, but also, like, reaping the rewards, then whatever, you know? It, the rewards are, are not yours to, yours to take, but they just give it to you anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no. And also, like, it's something that Solar Sands said. And Solar Sands, he's, like, going off. He's, like, his videos are, like, incredibly, like, original, but also, like, really, like, well, um, well, like, really clickable. It's, like, informatic, inf informational videos, but, like, actually pretty interesting. <laughs> and, like, he, he's sort of, like, a underrated YouTuber, but he's getting a, he's getting a bunch of recognition at the moment, which is good for him, but he's, like, one of the dudes that, like, people say, oh, he can't, they can't stand his voice, but I just can't tell what's wrong, but, yeah, no, um, <laughs> he's gotten a bit depressed lately. He, I think we have a similar sort of view on life that, yeah, <laughs> it's a curse. It's, it's not a blessing. You got you 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 get brought here to think that this is a lucky, you get you get gaslighted into thinking being alive is lucky, but you're just suffering. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> uh. But yeah, no. Um, he's brought up that like every every kindness, every act of kindness is powered by greed, and like I said, for people that are like, for people who just think that being kind is the thing that being kind isn't, like, like, they should be kind, they just think be kind, like, they, for them, that it's not a thing about greed, it's just what they think, but for, for normal people, <laughs> for people that realise what being kind is to people, like, surely it's just because, like, something they don't want to happen to themselves, like, you look at someone who's got run over by a car, and you're like, oh, I feel so bad, I would never want to be ran over by a car, you know, because it's like, you don't necessarily, like, in the end, you do, like, your thoughts do drift to, oh, the guy's fan, oh, the guy, the dude's, <laughs> the dude, dude is a, dude is a <laughs> unisex uh, term, isn't it, the dude's family, oh, their family's 
the the loved ones, the friends, all them going to be feel sad. <laughs> that was a sentence. But like you do, you still think about, oh, I wouldn't want that to happen to me, you know, because it, it, it you feel sympathy because you feel empathy. I, I don't know <laughs> which one's the one where you put yourself in their shoes because empathy is greed, isn't it? Well, one of the two, <laughs> one of the two is greed or just like, I guess, feeling like thinking about yourself, like you, you wouldn't want that to happen to you. Therefore you feel bad about the thing happening to someone else. You know, isn't that how, isn't that like the thing when, uh, when you feel empathetic or sympathetic for someone that you just don't want to want to, Oh, I forgot to show you guys the basement. Oh, whatever. Should we just go now? How long have I been recording? I can check. Uh, Ooh, it's nearly an hour. Okay. For the last four minutes. <laughs> um, how about I just go home and put, put all the obsidian away. Um, I'm still recording. Right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why not do that? It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, no. I don't know. I might, I might be wrong. Just if if I'm ever wrong, just literally correct me. Like, and I'll I'll consider. Like if it's if it's like reasonable, I'll reconsider. Like oh, you know what? You have a point. But if it's just like if it's something that I just don't really think is right, then I'll I'll call you out on it. All right. I'm not afraid to say, you know, that's just not like that's not right. And like ah, oh, I I hate to think I'm special, but maybe I am special. And the only thing I can point to, is when. <laughs> my English teacher asked if there was a meaning to life and we had to stand on either side of each room. And I was on the, I was the only one on, on the side of which you can imagine. <laughs> Everyone else thought there was meaning to life. I don't get it. What is there? <laughs> I don't want to be a complete like ass about it. I don't want to tell everyone to suddenly go kill themselves, but like, you just here, yeah, just have fun. Just live like, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, I just need the basement, don't I? I'll come down here. Oh, let me go turn on my, uh, let me go turn on my, my thing, my little night vision pack, because I can't be asked for this. <laughs> but, like, yeah, no, um, I just think live, live like you, live like you mean it. <laughs> don't think about, oh, I'm trying to do this, do that, and, and make, like, like, life meaningful. Just, just live like you're here to play (laughs) as I press the button but no I just don't think it's so it's that it's what's the point of thinking there's a point just live life anyway you know you don't have to have a point don't have that there's there doesn't have to be meaning for you to do something you know like I'm playing this game it's not gonna help me It's, it's gonna be like gone in a few years but it's it's happy it's making me feel good and I'm just having a good time, you know? So what's the matter? What's what's the... Oh, yeah, look at this place. Oh, pure obsidian. I love it. Oh, it makes me tear up a bit. <laughs> but, yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe maybe only the dumbest people think that life has no meaning. But I just don't find... I don't find a point to thinking that there is. You know? Just, just be... Just live. Just have fun. Don't think about it too much. But yeah, uh, <laughs> don't think about it too much as I sit here <laughs> thinking about it a lot. Um, yeah, I think it's time we whip up a, a, a segment. Um, if I don't think of anything else, what music have I been, been listening to a year or a bit? <laughs> um, what have I been doing? Uh, oh yeah, it's the 50th episode next time. And I'm going to I'm gonna do a special 50th reading video. <laughs> Uh, well, at some point, basically, next episode, I'm going to whip up my uh, my old story. Well, the story that I've started and I still want to finish, but it's so bad that I just don't think it's ever going to happen. And I'll, I'll read that out because it's just it's just funny, I guess. But, yeah, no. Um, time for a segment, I guess. Let me go grab my phone. Does my phone even get, got battery? Uh, of course. Okay, right. Uh, who's texting me? Oh, yeah, my friend. Uh, let's not bother about that for now. Let me just get rid of the notification. <laughs> I hate having notifications on my thing. All right, uh, where's my random number generator? Here it is. And, uh, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm adding 10 to the num- random number generation, and 10 is the call. 10 is wrong number. Oh, no. Okay, right. Uh, segments. Let's see. Uh, have we got... No, we've only got eight. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I got rid of some. Oh, right, fair. 
<laughs> I, okay, I'm just gonna do a few. I'm not gonna do all of them every single time because it's just pointless. But yeah, no. Uh, four. <laughs> I don't want to get eight. Eight. It's just terrifying. Uh, <laughs> let me read it out, actually. Number eight. Wrong number. Call a complete stranger and chat. And this is this was what I was gonna go for. You don't know me, but are you down to have a chat? And you okay with this call being recorded? And would you be more comfortable with your voice hidden? I, I don't. I think I'm just gonna record it with that whatever because I I don't know. Like that, it's cool and all that you, that you can like. But the thing is, like in the end, in the end, you are uh, you hide their you you uh, protect their privacy anyway by like getting rid of their voice by changing their voice. <laughs> and I'm not just gonna like speed it up to Alvin the Chipmunk voice. You know, I'm probably I'm probably gonna like alter it so it's not. So it's not reversible. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, number four. Why hole? Oh, I like this one. Why hole? Okay, right. Random statement. I'm placing obsidian on the floor of my basement. Why? Because it's an impressive project. Look at this entire place. There's like, there's obsidian on the walls and I'm getting obsidian on the floor. And it's just going to be impressive if someone comes down here and just sees this entire room with obsidian lining the wall is just fantastic why is an impressive project um well because it's taking it t it's taken me like two years <laughs> nearly two years to make this i think it's actually going to take me two years to make this because like at some point um at some point it's going to be june <laughs> at some point it's <laughs> quarter of the year <laughs> at some point it's going to be june and that's when i played that's when i started this uh server actually actually that, that doesn't really make sense does it no it's only been about one year to be honest because i've only only began properly making this like at the end of 2019 so yeah good for me i guess um but yeah uh why is this taking me this long because well you see mining this entire place out by hand uh doesn't even it, it's not even taking that long to mine out by it doesn't even take that long to mine out by hand it's just that your pickaxe breaks <laughs> and that's not very helpful when you're trying to mine out a, like a 99 by 99 by 50 oh, i really wish like the top i really wish i had a i had um the y-axis also like a cube so this entire place could be a cube room but i, I just couldn't because because otherwise I'd be on the ground. I would be on the surf. The obsidian would be lining the floor. Otherwise, well, I am not lining the floor with the obsidian, but not the point. But you know, um, what was the what was the statement? Um, why, uh, why does it take a long time to mine? Uh, well, I explained that. Well, why does your pickaxe run out of durability? Because you're mining oh so fast. Why are you mining oh so fast? To complete this quicker. <laughs> Why are you trying to complete this quicker? Because it takes a long time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why time? Why does it take a long time then, eh? Um, well, cause, cause you, you're mining, you're mining a giant place out and putting obsidian on the floor. <laughs> I think. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's go for a different route of questioning. Uh, why are you placing obsidian on the floor? Because it's impressive. Why is it impressive? Because uh. Because nobody else would do something like this. Why would nobody else do something like this? Because it's useless. Why is it useless? Because, well, you know, you, you're literally just putting obsidian on, on, in a giant hole you've made in, in some virtual video game. Why are you... Oh, no, it's impressive. No, don't say that. Why are you placing obsidian on the floor in a virtual video game to make nice memories? Why are you making nice memories? Because... I need something to look back on, you know, uh, it, and I, and I have really pretty much, okay, okay, no, <laughs> why are you making, why do you want something to look back on? Because memories make me happy. Why do memories make you happy? Because at some point things are going to change and my, my free trial of life will run out and I'm going to have to go and get, do, do proper things, proper adulty things and it's gonna it's gonna feel bad but i can look back on the good days and feel good okay well why okay wait uh why are you gonna do adulty things i guess i don't know why are you gonna grow up because time and also you have to look after yourself um there's really no point to be honest there's no point to life just you might as well die now <laughs> well 
why will you grow up type no why why is there no point to life <laughs> we're not explaining that here um what was the what was it uh why oh yeah why why will you become an adult because you know time why time because uh because we need something to, de- to detail our journey you know that's a thing actually i really i really regret not like detailing a time on a lot of my projects like a lot of writing i i just don't I don't, um, really, uh, what's, the, uh, I don't really, like, mark it, <laughs> so I just, like, have a random project sitting there, and I don't even know when I did it, and it's really nice to look back on when, uh, when you're, like, just looking through stuff, and you see, like, oh, I did this on May the 21st, 2004, <laughs> uh, but it's also good, because, like, well, it's not also good, but what's good is, my mum, she's like a crazy camera addict. Like she's literally a tourist in her own country, basically, and she just she cannot stop. She cannot stop taking photos of literally everything, and like it's good for me, but also bad. But it's good because like you can literally just go ask her, and she'll have like millions of photos of you. <laughs> just at, at any point in life like i can say oh what happened on this day types it into her photos album boom i was jacking myself off <laughs> no <laughs> i don't imagine oh my god but yeah no um it's just yeah it's really like that i, I think we're done with the segment <laughs> but yeah no like i have a bunch of stuff that like like writings basically and drawings that I I would really like to just, like, note down when I did it, and see, like, the improvement and stuff, and what I was, like, into at that point in life, but I guess I didn't have the, the, uh, state of mind to do it when I was, like, a child, so, yeah, now I'm doing a bit more often, actually, not really, no, I guess my, my, uh, let me drink, I guess my, my date and time is the is when I post stuff onto DeviantArt and it says when you posted it and also YouTube I guess yeah actually that's yeah that's that's really helpful uh, how YouTube tells you when you posted the video I mean there's not really anything else you uh, there's not really it's not really not going to tell you because it's like, really important but oh, come on, let me just pull this water out fantastic okay but yeah no, um. Good fun, good fun, good fun, good fun, good fun. I think I should end the video sometime now. <laughs> but I really want to... Uh, I think I'm going to be mining obsidian for the next few videos. Because, like, uh, I I can't imagine doing it. Uh, but to be honest, like, the story's over. I should just quit this world until next year or the next time I have any time. Because, like, I really need to get back to work. Because <laughs> I've done this for so long now. I've done this, well, for a week. But I, I still need to start get, getting stuff done. Because, like... I've had, I've had my fun. It was such a good time, man. It was so good. I will, I will look back and on this time with, uh, with, uh, happiness. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, it's kind of a shame I haven't finished everything yet because I really like that. I'd really want to just have the elevator come all the way down here and make, like, a platform for it and then, and then finish off all these walls and make the perfect obsidian place. I, I I didn't honestly think I was gonna finish it this holidays, but I don't know. Maybe if I find myself with more time, I'll come back here and get stuff done. It's just mining obsidian is so boring when you're not doing anything and just listening to someone else and not talking or anything. It's not. It's just not any any fun. <laughs> I, I'm honestly about to just duplicate my obsidian. Look, all right, hold on. Here, let me show you something crazy. I or oh, maybe I've already shown you guys, but. Uh, let me see. What what's what's good? Um, you know what? Why why not? Let's. Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna duplicate C, and that's just too. That's just too. Okay, whatever. Let's just duplicate these end pearls because no one cares. Here we go. Right. If you go into a beacon and your uh, UI profile is pocket and the thing is in your in your hot bar, watch. You literally just double tap it, and it just, ah, it just, it just duplicate. What? What? Dude, Minecraft is a game. <laughs> Minecraft Bedrock Edition is a game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, no, um, that's, that's really it. That's it. Um, I guess, uh, 
well done me. Ah, I feel a bit less lonely now, but also still lonely. I'm going to go back to listening to Ophelia because I want some more feelings. Actually, no, that's that's a lonely song. I need, I need to cheer up. I'll put on some EDM or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, goodbye.